So it was awesome to be in it with a group of Rutgers students that had the same goals um, to be part of this campaign, to be tobacco free in 2023. And we were able to accomplish it, which is amazing. But obviously there's a lot of behind the scenes that goes into implementing implementing a policy like this. And so we met with Truth, Truth Initiative um, at meetings to tell them about our progress. And they would highlight our progress through newsletters. If you don't know what the, the Truth Initiative is, it's a nonprofit um, public health organization that wants to basically put tobacco use and nicotine addiction in the past. And we just want to have everything smoke free and tobacco free. And so some examples of some programming we did as um, tobacco free leaders on campus was working with Late Night on Campus, which is a huge organization that is accessible to undergraduate students and graduate students. And we did a bingo night. So we did tabling, handing out cessation resources, um, as well as branded um, promotional material that says Are You Tobacco Free? And I still see it on campus every day sometimes. And it was good because we were able to bring out that knowledge onto like a fun event like that and telling them more about what Big Ten schools are smoke free slash tobacco free um, and why this is such an issue among young adults. Um, and yeah, we were able to give out branded materials as well for bingo. And it was nice to be able to meet our campaign goals of um, the outreach efforts of educating the public of the health risks behind the tobacco use, um, as well as surveying the community, like the Are You Tobacco Free survey, um, as well as just being able to engage with the community why we should be 100% tobacco free in 2023.